Hi, my name is Krista from the Lyle Library District, and today we're going to talk about consumer reports. Now, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the monthly issue that comes out in paper form. We keep that at the library. We keep three years. We have ones that you could check out, and we also have copies for reference use. But we also have an online database called Consumer Reports, which gives you all the functionality that you use when you have the print version, but it allows you to group things and do things quicker and gives you more information in a more timely manner. So it's very easy to get going with Consumer Reports. First, you need to go to our library page, www.lyalibrary.org. Click on Databases, which is up at the top over towards the right. Once you click on that, it, you'll get an alphabetical list of all the databases that you can access from home. Scroll down till you get to, in this case, Consumer Reports. Gives you a little description here of what the database will do for you. Click on that, and you'll be prompted to log in with your barcode and PIN. Put in your barcode, no spaces. Your PIN or password is generally the last four digits of your phone number. Once you click log in, this is what you'll see for Consumer Reports. This is their main homepage, gives you an idea of what the database will be able to do for you. You can look at product reviews. You can see what Consumer Reports labs have tested. Uh, and you can find out things like how to ease stress during the pandemic, all kinds of things here. This is the best place to start for whatever you're looking for. Um, probably the most reasonable place to start is with product reviews. If you click on that, you'll bring up this list that shows you the top products that people search for under appliances, cars, electronics, and so forth. However, if you go all the way down to the bottom of that list on the left, you can search for all products A to Z, which just brings you a list of every product that they review in alphabetical order. Or you can just jump right in and type your search into the search bar. Whatever you're looking for, whether it's a washing machine, a lawnmower, a new iPad, type that in, hit search, and you'll be taken to results. Let's say you're wanting to look for a new washing machine. Yours has kicked the bucket, or it's having some issues, or it just really isn't performing as well as it used to, and it's time to replace. So what you're going to get if you type in washing machine is a chance to look at an overview, to look at ratings and reliability, to see recommended models from Consumer Reports Labs, or look at a buying guide. When I search for washing machines, this is the page that comes up. It tells you what types of washing machines they rated. They rated front loaders. They rated top loader agitator washers. They rated top load HE washers. And it goes on there two more that are down further on the page. But what's really, really nice is that look under front loaders. Down at the bottom in green, you'll see a link to go to the recommended front load washers and their ratings. Each of these different types of washers have those two options. So if you want to cut to the chase and just look at what Consumer Reports recommends in a certain type of washer, click on Recommended. If you want to just see the ratings, click on Ratings. Moving over to the right, to Ratings and Reliability. This will allow you to focus on the features and qualities that you want in purchasing a new washing machine. 
And up on the top, up in the right, you'll notice the familiar color-coded ratings that Consumer Reports has used. From poor to excellent, it's shorthand to let you know what they believe these products have in spades or where they lack. This will tell you that you're going to look at 48 rated models. You can print this out, of course. And it lists them from the highest score to the lowest. It gives you the name and the model. It tells you whether it is recommended or a best buy. It gives you a market price, which is a ballpark. Uh, gives you the ability to add this to compare up to three different models. Or if you're sure this is what you're looking for, click on shop and it brings up a list of online sources where you can purchase the product. And usually washing machines are ranked according to their scores in various categories such as performance, efficiency, length of cycles, features, a lot of different things. Things that are highly rated will be recommended with a check mark it's circled in green and price and shop while not available on every different machine is when it is available that takes you to the list of online resources where you can purchase your desired machine and you also again have the ability to add it to compare Now I've chosen a washing machine and I'm pretty sure this is the one that I want to buy. So it gives me a little bit larger snapshot of the machine that I've selected. It tells me the dimensions of the height, width, and depth so I make sure it fits in my space. It also gives me things like this machine has automatic temperature control, it has automatic detergent dispenser, and fabric softener dispenser. It's stackable, if that makes a, a difference. Also, there are six reviews that are done by consumers, or I can write a review after I've purchased the product and tried it out. So let's say I, I'm sure this is what I want to purchase. Click on Shop, and then it brings up another page that lists, in this case, four different places online where I could purchase this gives me the lowest to highest price and whether it's in stock or not through these retailers. A little further down that page of ratings and reliabilities, you can look at features and specs. You can sort by whether these have automatic dispensers, whether they have a steam dry, whether they have automatic anything. It gives you the chance to, if something is really, really important for you to have, like automatic dispensers, you can pick just those models that have that feature and then you could compare them. A little bit further down on the page is predicted reliability and owner satisfaction. Now the predicted reliability is what after testing, Consumer Reports Labs think this machine will do. It is saying that there is an LG model that gets an 8 out of 10. And down at this bottom of this list, there are a GE model that gets 5 out of 10. And owner satisfaction is from people who have purchased this item, tried it out, used it for a while, and what they think. Do they think it's efficient? Do they think it's quiet? Do they think it's noisy? Does it vibrate a lot? Does it take as big a load as they say it does? All kinds of different things that would be important to the consumer. You can see on this list, there's a Speed Queen model that got a 10 out of 10, and there's a GE model that got a 2 out of 10. Now once you have selected up to three items that you want to compare, You'll find down here on the bottom, it says this Maytag, this LG, and this Samsung. I want to compare. Hit compare. And you'll see something similar to this. 
You can look at all the different ratings, pick out what's important to you as the consumer, and clicking on shop will again take you to online resources where you can purchase this product for yourself. And I know this has been just a very, very brief taste of Consumer Reports Online. It is as easy to use, in my opinion, as opening the magazine and using the paper edition. It's very intuitive. You should be able to figure out where you want to go and what you want to do very easily with this database. If you have any questions, please email us at connect at Thank you.